Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Shashank Tyagi from Edukemi and today we are going to have a quick trend analysis of PSR optional paper 1. When I am making this video at this time, our students are writing paper 2. So best wishes for them. And why it is important to understand trend of PSR optional so that you can fine tune your approach for the next year. And those who have given this exam this year, so it would be uh, like you are going to have a quick go through uh, what a, this particular keyword mentioned in the question actually meant, right? So let's start the discussion. Along with this, I'm also going to share uh, unit wise weightage comparing previous three years. So that is also important because a lot of themes means weightage as well as themes are repeated. So before we start, I would say the question paper is balanced or on easier side. So we can expect top scorers again this year from PSR optional. So without wasting any time, let's start. Let's start digging into the paper. This is your PSR optional paper one, section A. First question is having A, B, C, D, E, five questions as the standard format is. All are compulsory. Feminist critique of the state. Please understand the word is critique, not critically analyze. You have to comment feminist critique. Critique word means a detailed analysis of feminist ideas on state. I would say it's a direct question in main support program as well as in enrichment program. I deliberately, you know, uh, pushed this factor that uh, one question is expected as per the trend. It's not something new. As per the trend, one question is expected from the types of, you can say, theories on state. Uh, so let's have a look. So from theories of state, the subtopics which are mentioned by UPSC are liberal, neoliberal, Marxist, pluralist, post-colonial feminist. So specifically UPSC has given you the hint that feminist is a keyword, right? So within feminist, just take a look over this type of questions asked. So there are three kinds of questions which are expected. One question, discuss. And when I say discuss, it can be critique, because critique and critically analyze me difference, hota hai, right? So I told theories of state and types per question are and these, these were the type of questions which we discussed there. So the point of sharing this particular you know, screen is that from every unit in your PSR optional, there are some themes which are repeated. For example, discuss theories of state. And we know that these are the you know key pillars or you can say key ideas which talk about theory of state from different angles, right? So it means our content should be aligned. Okay, if a question is asked on discuss, these are the points. This is going to be the standard template or of our expression. Similarly, critically examine. So most common theme which is repeated is sovereignty of state. It may be monistic theory of sovereignty state being you know critically analyzed or say pluralistic theory. But here, the only point I have to show you is that it is not that the preparation is random. There is a structure which can be built around which expected themes can be practiced, and these themes are you know reflected in your exam. Okay. In the family critique, we will talk about what kind of wide range of ideas we have within feminist thought from radical liberal perspective you know you know uh, there's a militaristic idea also means uh, the idea which says that uh, state is the greatest pimp right yes this was also said then we have radical idea where we have ideas like personal is political we have also ideas like state is like a neutral arbitrator Right. So it means the spectrum of ideas within feminist school of thought, which are related to idea of state. You need to reflect that expression in a brief manner in this particular answer. You have only 150 words. Right. Then you have affirmative action. I would say direct question. Right. From equality. We have equality of outcome as a political idea. Another direct question. It is directly asking comment. Right. So uh, one thing you should keep in mind, it is not just about explaining idea. You should know the, you should know some scholars, you should quote some books. That's how you, you, you need to build the answer around. So we are having a quick go through the paper, right, as of now. And we're also going to discuss detailed answer approach in subsequent videos. Now you have tool of legitimation of the state. Another, you, I would say a direct question right tools of legitimation of the state how state 
ensure legitimacy. So you have a specific topic, power, legitimacy, right? So you need to tell what is actually legitimacy, how legitimacy is connected to authority and what are the ways to ensure that, yes, there is a legitimacy, right? So it means a quick link with legitimation crisis would be, uh, would be used here. Then you have J.S. Mill's idea on women's suffrage. Another, you, you can say, when you read about J.S. Mill, you read that you read about uh, the views of Harriet Taylor and how these views were influencing the views of J.S. Mill, right? So J.S. Mill was considered a, a, considered as a thinker ahead of his time, considering the prevailing conditions of Britain. So we have discussed we have discussed all of this in our lecture be it foundation course, be it MSP, enrichment, everywhere. I'm going to show some questions to you as well, uh, as well as the uh, other kind of questions which can be asked by UPSC next year from this particular theme. So how has Rawls enriched the idea? Jab justice ki hum baat karte hain, toh again and again we say that justice se kahan se question aa sakte hain, one question can be type of justice, like UPSC ne se pehle bhi poochha hai, right? Substantive idea of justice, foundational ideas of justice uh, then th the second question which second type of question which is expected from this particular unit is raw theory of justice i also said kyunki dekhi hamara yahan par discussion keval is is particular paper par nahi hai main janta hu many students who are watching this video they are uh, they, it may be possible that you have just you know started your psr optional journey or maybe giving next year right so uh, you should understand what is the what is the importance of having this trend analysis? So importance is that if we talk about Ross, then you should also come to your mind that there is a question from one question, it can come from type. Where can a question come from? It can come from Ross's idea. Where can a question come from? Key terms. I have always stressed that UPSC has asked many times. Original position, lexical order, comment. राइट right? तो इस बार ये क्वेश्चन आ गया तो इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि हमें यहां पर रुकना ऑब्वियसली राइट right? लेकिन हमें पता है कि हां रॉल से क्वेश्चन आता है ठीक है एंड वी नीड टू बी रेडी विद दैट तो यहां पर क्वेश्चन कह रहा है हाउ इज रॉल्स एनरिच द आइडिया ऑफ जस्टिस इन लिबरलिज्म व्हाट मिस्टेक यू शुड नॉट डू इज दैट यू शुड नॉट टॉक अबाउट व्हाट रॉल्स आइडिया वाज ऑब्वियसली वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद व्हाट वाज द सेंट्रल कंसर्न ऑफ रॉल्स रॉल्स बिलोंगिंग टू लिबरलिज्म यू नो द द मेजर क्रिटिक आल्सो कमिंग देयर लेकिन हमें जो बात करनी है हमें बताना है कि रॉल्स आइडिया ऑफ जस्टिस लिंकिंग विद लिबरलिज्म Right? How Rawls was saving liberalism in one way by bringing, or you can say, by bringing his theory of justice. Right? So it is also a direct question. Those people who have made notes, it is directly coming from your notes. Examine importance of behavioral approach in political theory. What led to its decline? अब जरा जब हमने इतना डिस्कशन कर लिया है तो थोड़ा सा अब पॉलिटिकल थ्योरी की हमने बात की तो पॉलिटिकल थ्योरी कौन सा टॉपिक आपका पेपर वन सेक्शन ए फर्स्ट टॉपिक पॉलिटिकल थ्योरी राइट लेट्स टेक अ लुक ओवर द ट्रेंड पॉलिटिकल थ्योरी 2018 10 मार्कर वाज आस्क 19 10 मार्कर 20 15 मार्कर 2021 दिस टाइम 15 मार्कर क्या क्वेश्चन है एग्जामिन द इंपोर्टेंस ऑफ बिहेवियरल अप्रोच इन पॉलिटिकल थ्योरी व्हाट लेड टू इट्स डिक्लाइन अब क्या ये कोई सरप्राइजिंग क्वेश्चन है बिल्कुल नहीं रीजन ये देखिए आप Political theory. So this is our course plan, which was you know, uh, which was used for giving value to the aspirants who are giving mains this year. अब देखिए मैंने political theory में बताया था कि short note पे question हमें ध्यान रखना है किन keywords पे ध्यान रखना है relevance, decline, resurgence in political theory. So you have this angle of decline here. Second मैंने component जो तैयार कराया था students का discussion करके वो था importance, contribution, limitation. These three words, three keywords can be used in your question. राइट right? और वो हुआ लिमिटेशंस नॉर्मेटिव बिहेवियरल अप्रोच तो हमने डिस्कशन किया था लिमिटेशन ऑफ बिहेवियरल अप्रोच एज वेल एज कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ बिहेवियरल अप्रोच इंपोर्टेंस ऑफ बिहेवियरल अप्रोच दीस टू वर्ड्स आर क्लोजर बट बोथ आर यूज्ड एंड देन डिक्लाइन ऑफ पॉलिटिकल थ्योरी राइट एंड एज यू नो नॉर्मेटिव बिहेवियरल पोस्ट बिहेवियरल एंड देन पोस्ट मॉडर्न तो सारा डिस्कशन हमने किया था और ये क्वेश्चंस भी हमने डिस्कस किए थे तो यानी कि अगर स्ट्रेटजी सही हो और उसमें फेथ हो और सही गाइडेंस रखें तो इट वाज अ चांस टू स्कोर यू नो 300 प्लस इट इज अ चांस इस बार भी देखिएगा यू विल सी मेनी टॉपर्स फ्रॉम पीएसआर ऑप्शनल कमिंग बैक कैन देयर बी अ यूनिवर्सल कंसेप्शन ऑफ ह्यूमन राइट आई वुड से इट्स अ क्लीशे क्वेश्चन ह्यूमन राइट्स जब आप पढ़ते हैं तो ह्यूमन राइट्स में सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट जो डिबेट है 
वो तो यही है ना कि वेदर ह्यूमन राइट कैन बी कंसिडर एज यूनिवर्सल कंसेप्शन राइट लेकिन ध्यान रखिएगा वेन यू अप्रोच ऑल दो हम डिटेल आंसर करेंगे लेकिन फिर भी इतना तो हमें जानना चाहिए कि यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम राइट अवे फ्रॉम ह्यूमन राइट यू नीड टू टॉक अबाउट वाई वॉट आर द सेंट्रल प्रमाइसिस वाई इट इज कंसिडर्ड अ कंटेस्टेड वाई इट इज कंसिडर्ड अ कंटेस्टेड कंसेप्ट राइट इट सेल्फ इज कंटेस्टेड राइट वेन वेस्ट फोकस ऑन राइट ईस्ट फोकस ऑन ड्यूटीज सो यू नीड टू टॉक अबाउट कल्चर रिलेटिविज्म परस्पेक्टिव हियर right how asian values conceive human rights in a different manner mahatir mohammad lee kuan yew lot of content is there every question jo ab tak humne kara hai ye sab direct questions hain jo aapke notes se aaye hain yahan par is bar paper 1 mein wo surprising element nahi hai language formation mein jaisa isse pehle kai bar upsc ne kiya hai that is why i am saying we can expect good score from here then you have explain the aristotelian view of politics to what extent do you think it is it has contributed to the development of modern day constitutional democracies so the western political thought the weight is sabse zyada raha hai paper 1 section a mein aur again this year also take a look this is wpt so 45 60 45 45 to aapko nahi lag raha ki ek standard framework hame yahan par dikh raha hai राइट right. और कौन सी क्वेश्चन डब्ल्यू पी टी से आज इस बार आए हैं वो है जेस मिल्स आइडिया ऑफ वन सफरेज जिसके हमने बात की एक्सप्लेन एरिस्टोटलियन व्यू ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स देखिए अब इसमें मेन गेम क्या है दैट यू हाउ यू वीव योर आर्ग्यूमेंट्स ऑन दिस क्वेश्चन दैट इज गोइंग टू क्रिएट द डिफरेंस मीन्स वन इज एक्सप्लेन द एरिस्टोटलियन व्यू ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स यू शुड नॉट मर्ज दीज टू पार्ट राइट सो यू नीड टू स्टार्ट विथ the base idea of aristotle how it was having a transition from the platonic ideas right you need to talk about polity you need to talk about democracy you need to talk about how aristotle was observing different type of political systems right and the demerits as well and finally he was agreeing on the word polity which we in modern form say democracy and uske baad एक खास बात है स्टोरी में कि कितने सारे जो आइडियाज हैं वो आज की कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डेमोक्रेसीज में रिफ्लेक्ट होते हैं राइट सो बी इट आइडिया ऑफ सिटीजनशिप ऑल दो सिटीजनशिप का आइडिया डिफरेंट है व्हाट एरिस्टोटल वाज हैविंग राइट बट द पॉइंट इज आइडिया ऑफ सिटीजनशिप बेस्ड ऑन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन दे मेक इन द रियल सिनेरियो राइट तो कहने का मतलब ये है कि डिफरेंट थ्योरीज जो है एरिस्टोटल की उसी का आइडिया हमें रिफ्लेक्ट होता है जैसे ही वॉज कंसर्न अबाउट मेरिट ही वॉज कंसर्न अबाउट इन इक्वालिटी एंड इट्स लिंक विद रिवोल्यूशन डोंट यू थिंक दीज चैलेंजेस आर बींग टेकन केयर ऑफ बाय मॉडर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रेजिंग्स राइट डिटेल में भी हमें इसको डिस्कस करना है बट अभी आपका पर्पस है इस क्वेश्चन को समझना कि एक्चुअल में है क्या ऐसा नहीं है कि इट इज आउट द बॉक्स मार्क्स कंसेप्शन ऑफ एलिनेशन इज एन एसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ द रियलिटी इन कैपिटलिज्म मुझे लगता है कि अगर यहां पे वेस्टर्न पॉलिटिकल थॉट में एक क्वेश्चन की लैंग्वेज में थोड़ी सी स्मार्टनेस है तो वो ये क्वेश्चन है वाई एम सींग दैट सम स्टूडेंट्स दो मार्क्स Theory, you know ideas around alienation they may start jumping to the conclusion that they need to talk about various types of alienation right alienation from production process alienation from product alienation from self but please understand having content in your notes is one thing these notes are there to make you understand what this concept is all about बट यूपीएससी डिमांड्स स्मार्ट यूसेज ऑफ दैट कंटेंट बिकॉज यूपीएससी नो कि नोट्स तो आपके पास हैं लेकिन क्या एक्चुअल में उसको समझते हैं आप कंसेप्ट को दैट इज बींग चेक हियर इट इज नॉट आस्किंग यू टू एक्सप्लेन मार्क्स कंसेप्शन ऑफ एलिनेशन इट इज नॉट आस्किंग डिस्कस क्वेश्चन क्या है मार्क्स कंसेप्ट ऑफ एलिनेशन इज एन एसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ रियलिटी इन कैपिटलिज्म यानी कि आपको प्रूव करना है तो कैसे आप करेंगे That when it comes to Marx concept of alienation, तो Marx जिन जिन levels पे alienation का concept दे रहा है do you think the Marx Marx is giving concept of alienation at the level of production process? Don't you think capitalism is also designed on this particular line? Your self worth is गॉश्ड on the basis of value you create. in terms of manufacturing in terms of services but your worth in society is based on value you create production service 
कुछ ना कुछ आपको करना होगा राइट सो इट मीन्स फ्रॉम कैपिटलिस्ट परस्पेक्टिव एंड फ्रॉम मार्क्स परस्पेक्टिव सो मार्क्स परस्पेक्टिव से जहां पर आप एलिनेशन पर फोकस कर रहे होंगे कैपिटलिस्ट परस्पेक्टिव से यू आर गोइंग टू फोकस हाउ इट इज एसेंशियल कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ रियालिटी right so it for example value being goshed on the uh, on the value you create right so that is how uh, that is how wealth is distributed in this today's capitalist society right whoever is creating value which is whoever is creating a product or service which is creating value in the lives of people being sold at a numbers are the one who are going to have the maximum wealth right so it is not about the labor it is about the value and price discovery price discovery so how price discovery is or you can say giving value to a particular product is also an essential component of capitalism right to kyunki product ki value bhi matter karte it may be possible that jaise jaise it may be possible that you are creating some product but if that product is not having that much value in today's society means not having demand then you will you are not going to be valued in that proportion of the work you have done right to ye jo outlook hai application wala part hai theory ka ye aap mein clear hona chahiye to score well otherwise dhyan rakhiye this is not a graduate post graduate or graduate or board exam ki aapne marks ke ideas of alienation ko padha hua hai and you started writing ki these are the levels of alienation and you expect ki ki aapko acche marks milenge no that is not the uh, demand right we have to understand the context demand and then we need to weave our uh, answer right please stay updated with the next subsequent videos because i am very much interested to delve deeper into these questions by telling you how you can have a introduction technique in your mind right introductions are not random aisa nahi hai ki question dekh kar hi fir decide karenge ki introduction ki technique kya hogi wahan par aap content decide karenge lekin technique technique aapki pehle se hi aa jani chahiye technique skill set content when these three pillars are aligned with each other that's where wonders happen that's where magic happened of 300 plus marks so stay tuned for that also this is a quick analysis quick go through to the paper then you have when a nation becomes devoid of arts and learning it invites poverty sir sayed ahmed khan indian political thought you know one question is expected let's have a look what is that what trend says you all are interested in that right so indian political thought 2018 15 mark 2019 25 mark 2020 25 marks 2021 35 marks right so 120 marker 115 marker this time so this is the question when a nation becomes devoid of arts and learning it invites poverty all you all of you know that Uh, all of you know the aspects of sir sayed ahmed khan being a contributor for the you can say uh, as a social reformer for the muslim community right but this question uh, do you think this question is specifically focusing on sir sayed ahmed khan being a leader of a community no right in the light of the statement assess the role of sir sayed ahmed khan as a social reformer in modern india this is mentioned right so your answer expression should be aligned with this what is the importance of education and when i say education means sir sayed ahmed khan was focusing on modern education also talk about the work he did contribution made don't tell about the whole story whatever you remember about sir sayed ahmed khan loyal mahabadans of you know britishers and this 1857 uski baat nahi ki ja rahi hai specific segment pe focus karna hai right so ha uh, ha huh, yes let's take second question also Do you think Buddhist tradition has lent greater ethical foundation to ancient Indian political thought? Give your arguments. I would say this is also another beautiful question. Or यहाँ पर decide होगा कि actual में कौन you can say uh, who who we who are the students who are going to score above average and average? क्योंकि मैं एक point पर focus करूँगा. अभी हमारा ये वाला question रहता है. Political ideology is primarily concerned with the allocation and utilization of power. every political ideology is based on attaining a particular objective means from liberal perspective 
the ideas are aligned from a different perspective right so liberalism as a political ideology ka jo evolution hai medieval se modern ke transition phase mein kis wajah se hua tha so some of you would say sir it was based on rationality humanism man being center of world earlier there was god was center of earth center of life but you need to talk about the allocation and utilization of power please understand this these are also the keywords it is not just about ki political ideologies ko kon kon se factors pe hum divide kar sakte hain who were the major benefactors of liberalism talk about it and also talk about it how your argument should be based on that for example when i say this transition medieval to modern lot of things were evolving in political theory the conception of individual rights specifically stress on right to property you have covered we have covered this in when we were discussing about lock when we were discussing about mill right so who were the benefactors don't you think at that time a new class was emerging capitalist class from mercantile trade mercantile capitalism to industrial capitalism this transition was happening and from mercantile to industrial capitalization utilization and allocation of resources was a must to right to property don't you think it is connected to allocation and utilization yes when you talk about socialism so who are the benefactors the idea of socialism is a reaction to the demerits which we have seen as a uh, as a you can say demerit after this advanced industrial state in european countries right so it was a reaction be it uh, the work of marx so it means hum baat kiski bare mein karte hain hum we we talk about workers we talk about read distribution we talk about distributive justice right so kehne ka matlab ye hai ki har ek word pe aapko stress dena hai jaise ki humne alienation wale question mein baat ki it was not just about karl marx concept concept of alienation it was also about essential part of reality in capitalism jo is par focus karega isse link karte hue answer ko weave karega wahi score karega aise yahan par the person who is not just going to divide give the basis of the division of different political ideologies also focus on allocation utilization of power these are the one who are going to score well then coming to this question do you think that buddhist tradition has have lent greater ethical foundation ab dekhi maine isme ek baat fok pe dhyan diya just take a look agar aapko bhi aise link ho raha hai kya the word is greater question is not saying discuss the contribution of buddhist tradition in standardizing ethical you know segment of ancient indian political thought as a statement nahi the statement mein word is greater if you take a look over the hindi part also yahan par ek word aapko dikhega uh, kya aapke vichar mein baudhik parampara adhik the word is adhik means more right to yani ke is question mein upsc ne kisi और ट्रेडिशन के बारे में बात नहीं की बट ग्रेटर वर्ड को यूज किया है राइट एंड एवरी ब्यूरोक्रेट हैज टू है यू नो दिस अटेंशन टू डिटेल दैट इज व्हाट यूपीएससी इज लुकिंग इन यू राइट सो डू यू थिंक दैट बुर्ज ट्रेडिशन है ग्रेटर एथिकल लेंड ग्रेटर एथिकल फाउंडेशन सो हम इसमें बात करेंगे द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ बुद्धिस्ट ट्रेडिशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन बुद्धिस्ट थॉट वेन राजा शुद्धोदन इज डिस्क्राइब so he is described as a person who has won the self atmaja right so atmaja means who has won over the sensory organs right that is the base of ethical foundation right because ethics mein hum jab baat karte hai standardization of right and wrong you can only follow this path when you have clarity that you are more than these sensory organs right apart from this the concept of chakravarti samrat apart from this uh, the ideals means how ideal king is described ideal king is described as benevolent right benevolent calm generous right apart from this you you know that in ancient political thought how people are going to follow a particular track when then when they are given a picture of these incentives that they are going to get so in buddhist tradition also we found that certain incentives were actually pictureized so that people can follow these ethical standards for example it was said that when these these methods are used when you conduct your your life in this manner there you are going to have 
you know, mm-hmm. prosperity in terms of output from your agriculture. Women are going to give birth at a proper time. Painless deliveries are going to happen. Yes, the, these are the, you can say, intense incentives which are provided, right? So, now there is a greater word. And in the same way, you think that this link is from Shastra. Se hai. Right? We start ancient Indian political thought from Dharma Shastra. We talked about Buddhist tradition in our classes. Also, we talked about Kautilya. So, we discussion on that. Right? How uh, it is? It is said that king has to warn the adversary not by war in in terms of that you know military you know war means you have to incorporate the component of war of love. Right. The conception of Chakravarti Samrat in Buddhist thought is also different from what Kautilya was talking about. Right. So, yani ke hume apne uh, answer expression mein contribution batana hai ki these are the ethical standards which are projected in this manner along with this. You also should have a comparative kind of, you can say, flair or comparative kind of nature of giving argument in your answer jahan par aap compare bhi kar rahe hain ki dekhiye dharma shastra kautilya right these are also component but isme buddhist tradition ko hum greater is wajah se maan sakte hain greater word ko kuch students lightly lenge but my advice is lightly nahi lena hai theek hai that is how we are going to achieve the score of 300 plus usse niche baat hi nahi karni hai theek hai next मार्क्स कंसेप्ट ऑफ एलिनेशन ये तो हमने भी बात की ही थी फ्री एंड फेयर डेलिब्रेशन इज अ की ऑफ की फाउंडेशन ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी दिट इज दिस इज अ डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन इज अ क्वेश्चन डायरेक्टिव इट मींस यू नीड टू टॉक अबाउट डेलिब्रेशन डेमोक्रेसी यू कैन स्टार्ट विद अ कोट आई ऑलवेज से हैव अ स्टैंडर्ड टेम्पलेट इन माइंड हाउ पेरेक्लिस who was even before plato was saying when we when we when we uh, come out at a you know conclusion by discussion it is more you know it is better than a conclusion which is which is actually uh, deduced by a very knowledgeable person yani ke if people are having discussion then they are going to uh, uh, you can say arrive at a better conclusion to kehne ka matlab ye hai deliberation ka jo component hai usko hame yahan par baat karni hai theek hai apart from this section b yes so direct question again the constitution of india is a product of historical process rich constitutional antecedents historical background of indian constitution you have gone through that right apart from this you know that our constitution has various segments just because because we have a different kind of history right some some uh, some segments we have uh, you can say carry forwarded right because constitution is has evolved it was not made in that particular time it was evolving means some roots were already there right and then it is saying constitutional antecedents means we need to focus on developments in terms of legal developments which happened before enactment of indian constitution so historical background connecting with uh, diversity challenges this is what needs to be used direct one अदर इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट चलिए दोबारा इस पे लेट्स हैव अ लुक ओवर दिस पार्ट सिंस वी हैव कवर्ड पेपर वन सेक्शन ए सो यस पॉलिटिकल थ्योरी आपने देख लिया थ्योरी ऑफ स्टेट से ट्वेंटी मार्कर क्वेश्चन फैमिली क्रिटिक ऑफ स्टेट एंड एफर्मेटिव एक्शन जस्टिस से ट्वेंटी मार्कर क्वेश्चन ए क्वेश्चन आया है रोल्स ठीक है इक्वालिटी से दो क्वेश्चन आए हैं ट्वेंटी मार्क्स मीन्स टेन टेन मार्क्स देन वी हैव राइट्स फिफ्टीन मार्क ह्यूमन राइट्स पे डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन और democracy 15 free and fair right foundational democracy political ideology 15 mark abhi humne baat ki allocation utilization of power ipt 35 marks wpt 45 marks right and these are the questions theek hai aur iske around ye kuch question themes thi jo directly humne prediction mein di thi apne main support program mein then we have paper 1 section b starting from indian nationalism so it's a 10 marker this time last year 25 earlier 30 and then 18 2018 one question analyze the marxist perspective of the nature of indian national movement now within indian nationalism yes so i say that there are three segments which you need to cover means differentiate means different perspectives mein differentiation kyunki interlink karke bhi question aa jata hai is baar direct hai लेकिन आगे आ सकता है कमेंट करके क्वेश्चन राइट 
जैसे यूपीएससी ने डायरेक्ट आपको ये हेडिंग दे रखी है परस्पेक्टिव और परस्पेक्टिव में लिबरल सोशलिस्ट मार्क्सिस्ट रेडिकल एंड दलित और मार्क्सिस्ट रेडिकल ह्यूमनिस्ट एंड दलित दीज थ्री आर द वन विच आर मोस्ट रिपीटेड वन दो आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो and want to take maximum benefit out of this trend analysis quick trend analysis i would say to so please focus on these part ki ha yahan se is is tarike se yahan se question repeat hota hai theek hai and now take a look over the question analyze the marxist perspective on human nature on on international movement don't you think it's a direct question ab hame ek standard theme dhyan rakhni hai you should take care of structure और इस पर मैं लेबरेट करूंगा वेन आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड फर्दर वीडियोज ऑन आंसर राइटिंग ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन सो वेन यू से स्ट्रक्चर सो इंट्रोडक्शन में ध्यान रखना है कि इंट्रोडक्शन में दो एलिमेंट्स विच आर की वर्ड्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन एंड द कंटेक्स दैट नीड टू बी एक्सप्लेन इन अ ब्रीफ मैनर एंड यू कैन यूज सम स्कॉलर्स लाइक एंडरसन बेनेडिक्ट बेनेडिक्ट एंडरसन हियर राइट यस यू कैन यूज एम एन रॉय सुमित सरकार राइट आर सी दत्त तो सम स्कॉलर्स देयर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू राइट जैसे बेनेडिट एंडरसन सेज दैट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ नेशन इज अ इंस्ट्रूमेंट विच वॉज क्रिएटेड बाय कैपिटलिस्ट तो यानी कि अगर मार्क्सिस परस्पेक्टिव कंसेप्ट ऑफ नेशन कोई क्वेश्चन करता है तो हमें इससे क्लियरिटी मिलनी चाहिए कि इंडियन नेशनल मूवमेंट पर क्या परस्पेक्टिव होगा राइट द वेरी क्वेश्चन इज ऑन द फैक्ट वेदर दिस एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन रिवोल्ट वॉज द फर्स्ट वॉर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस और नॉट right so marxist perspective disagrees on that part where where vd savarkar says it was the first war of independence but marxist perspective negate that right you also need to focus that uh, mn roy was now talking about ki congress which is like the flag bearer of indian national movement was actually a bourgeois party to so, yani ke indian national movement par bhi focus karna hai प्लस ये कॉम्पोनेंट्स लाइक कांग्रेस देयर प्रोग्राम देयर ऑब्जेक्टिव हमें उस पर भी फोकस करना है साथ में ध्यान रखिएगा व्हेन यू आर इन से कंक्लूजन साइड एंडिंग साइड तो वहां पर आप बिपिन चंद्रा को भी फोकस कर सकते हैं बिपिन चंद्रा इज अ मार्क्सिस्ट बट ही इज हैविंग अ मोडरेट परस्पेक्टिव ऑन इंटरनेशनल मूवमेंट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ बेनेटिक एंडरसन एम एन रॉय सुमित सरकार तो यानी कि जिससे वैल्यूएटर को लगे कि येस यू आर वेल अवेयर ऑफ दिस फैक्ट राइट फोकस केवल इंडियन नेशनल मूवमेंट है ठीक है अंडरलाइन द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ फर्स्ट कॉन्शियल एलिमेंट डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन राइट यू नीड टू टॉक अबाउट द प्रायोरिटीज यू नो द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द फर्स्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट वॉट फॉर द सेगमेंट यू नीड टू टॉक अबाउट अमेंडमेंट इन फंडामेंटल राइट यू नो वॉट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव वाई नेहरू जी वॉज सो कंसर्न अबाउट दैट लैंड रिफॉर्म्स ऑल एंगल यू नो दैट्स अ बेसिक क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस इन दिस क्वेश्चन देन यू हैव कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली रिकनसाइलिंग द फंडामेंटल राइट विद डी पी एस पी आपको पता है कि जब भी हम जुडिशरी की बात करते हैं जुडिशरी लेजिस्लेचर एग्जीक्यूटिव के रिलेशन के एवोल्यूशन की बात करते हैं सो वहां पर फंडामेंटल राइट और डी पी एस पी की डिबेट जो है वो एक तरीके से पाइवटल है मीन्स उसके अराउंड हमने इवोल्यूशन देखा है राइट आप देख लीजिए From Golaknath, Kesavanand Bharti, right? So we have seen how Sachin Singh. In every case, how how the relation was evolving. This was not just a judicial pronouncement. Relation was evolving, right? So you need to talk about those debate, the amendments in this particular area. So here, so basically, ah, uh, I mean. दिस इज द बेसिक डिबेट इज इट इज अविंग लॉर्ड ऑफ ओवरलैप विद जी एस पेपर टू एज वेल हमने डायरेक्ट डिस्कस किया है क्वेश्चन थीम भी हमने डिस्कस किया है एंड वो आंसर फॉर्मेट्स भी हम ग्रुप में अपलोड करेंगे ना द रोल ऑफ प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया एग्जीक्यूटिव वाले पार्ट से डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन है रोल ऑफ प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया बिकम्स मोर सिग्निफिकेंट ड्यूरिंग माइनॉरिटी गवर्नमेंट एंड क्वालिशन गवर्नमेंट इट मीन्स यू नीड टू टॉक अबाउट डिस्क्रिप्शनरी पार ऑफ प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया बट यू शुड नॉट डायरेक्टली जम्प ऑन डिस्क्रिप्शनरी पार यू नीड टू टॉक अबाउट रोल ऑफ प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया means it's not like all the rules need to be discussed but first talk about the stature the office and then you talk about what are the conditionalities which emerged during this time right and also talk about uh, uh, the ambiguities and the possible you can say ramifications of this scope where president is having a uh, discretionary power right so uh, so i think there's no difficulty in understanding this question hamara bhi effort kya hai ki question samajh mein aana chahiye a quick go through Do you think 
that despite having significant limitations, the Panchayati Raj have strengthened the process of decentralization. Direct question on MSP, maybe kia enrichment, maybe kia. Uh, we need to talk about these keywords. Key, keywords need to be, you know, keep in mind. Significant limitations, despite significant limitations, institutions have strengthened the process of democratic decentralization. So, yani ki hume apne answer ko weave karna hai by putting focus on the limitations as well. It include the limitation of finances. It include limitation of power to collect resources. It includes limitation with respect to human capital, which is available at these Panchayati Raj. And we need to talk about specifically democratic decentralization. Please understand, this question is not about enumerating the uh, you can say success of Panchayati Raj institutions or contribution of Panchayati Raj institutions in our governance structure. Ye nahi hai question. Or in our class, I focused on, you know, one question and I told that these are three possible kind of themes which can be asked by changing the language. Or jaisi language change hogi, aapka answer format change hoga. Focus ke wal democratic decentralization par rakhna hai. Thik hai? Next question. The Indian party system is shaped by a complex interaction of the parties, countries, federal structure, electoral system, social cleavages. Means we are talking about social, you can say, divisions. Means categorizations of society. Question is saying, explain. So Indian party system. First of all, the party system is explain on basis. Pe karte. Type number of parties. Kya number of parties is uh, uh, connect with the ki kis ka electoral system. Hai? Is it first past the post system? Yes. You need to talk about divorce law. You need to talk about how uh, Indian party system is an exception to divorce law. You need to talk about the uh, emergence of regional political parties and you need to talk about federal structure in that context. Right? You need to talk about the positive aspect as well. Right? You need to talk about how we have religion, even caste-based parties. Right? You need to give certain examples as well as please understand in paper one section b right indian government polity part using contemporary you know scenario examples is going to give you edge you should not limit yourself with the notes which you have purchased from the market or you made two years back that contemporary uh, if you have this contemporary link. For example, when you're talking about social cleavages, you know, you, you're talking about caste-based parties, when you mention, say, Nishad party, right, you you know that UP elections are around the corner and there's a debate, you know, a lot of news around this. So you need to talk about this, you know, give example which are in news. So it will give, you know, that kind of, uh, you can say, impression to the evaluator that you are well-versed with the actual application of this knowledge. You are not someone who has just crammed the notes, right? UPSC is having a sharp eye on that. Do you think that there has been a gradual shift on the basis which the demand for the creation of new state has been raised? So focus kya is question ka? Siddha saab se puchna chara hai. Do you know the factors on which demand is raised? Means we, we knew uh, there's, a, there's a time when linguistic basis was the demand of creation, you know, new state, right? We know Porta Shiro Ramalu, we know, we know the recommendations of SRC, JVP, right? Iske baad, pichle kuch samay mein jo demand ka basis se wo change hua hai right means disparities regional disparities right we have seen uh, for example this uh, uttarakhand chhattisgarh jharkhand right development as a basis also evolved to yani ke linguistic se fir region ethnicity development to other jo angles hain right usko aapko justify karna aur dekhiye question kar do you think there has been a gradual shift in the basis on which demands for the creation of new states has been raised in different regions in India. So these examples show, yes, there has been a shift, right? Explain, right? So you need to, you need to also, uh, you know, focus on some scholarly point of views as well, saying ki whether uh, this has been a fruitful product or not, why there's, there, there's a change in this demand. Yani ke agar ye trend emerge hua hai, to there must be some reason behind it, right? What explains India's modest improvement in social development outcome even the rate of growth has accelerated? So planning and economic development may UPS ne clearly up with you know liberal reforms means reforms in 1991. So economic reforms way, like social development outcomes have been modest. 
do you think there are reasons like uh, like uh, it is said that um, F. W. Rick says that Indian society is prismatic society. There's a gap between the policy which is made being aligned with a greater vision or a populist policy, right? How laws are misused, how it has actually led to increase in inequality in India, right? So you need to talk about those factors. Another generic question, class may discuss who are, right? Then the success of electoral democracy. So this we have question direct kiya tha, election commission ka role, right? Uh, and the how election commission has you know, enhanced, you know, its role in from 1990s, from the era of TN session, right, to now. So you need to talk about the various reforms which have happened in past. You need to talk about how election commission has aligned with the efforts made by civil society, right, like, for example, ADR, PUCL, right. So another direct question, I would say. Now we will talk about what is the weightage of the weightage of the past trend. Kya hai? Examine the evolution of the jurisdiction of Supreme Court of India as a constitutional court. Direct question is judiciary ki baat karenge. Supreme Court mein type of role or a type of jurisdiction ki aap baat karte hai. So you talk about the role of su Supreme Court. So evolution ki baat karenge. You need to talk about, you know, there was a phase when we talk about 1950s, 60s, where Supreme Court, it, it is said that that was a pacifier kind of phase of Supreme Court where executive was having the real hold, right? Many, uh, you need to quote some certain uh, certain you can say uh, certain cases of the time where judiciary itself give you know in its recommendation gave more power to execute it right so you can also talk about uh, the case of appointment of judges per se and how collegium evolved that is one example and then how supreme court evolved as a you know, court which is protecting the uh, fundamentals of our constitution so I would say direct question. Explain how caste as a category is becoming political category. Democratic politics in India. Direct question from caste religion politics. Isi way se mein tha ki paper ones, paper one is you know balanced, more on easier side. Expected themes. Kuch themes to aise hain jo agar ap previous year questions pe bhi apne focus kiya hoga, to you will be able to have have you know uh, express in a minimum you know time. Jesse uh, we talk about caste as identity, identity politics, we talk about Yogendra Yadav, we talked about upsurge related to OBC, we talk about Mandal Commission, Mandal Commission, you know, Mandal Commandal politics, right? So yeah, be direct question. So Abhi Hamne Kival go through Kia hai questions say to understand this paper. Let's have a look. Ke paper one section B kaha kitni weightage hai. Internationalism 10, 25, 30, 10. And lies Marx's perspective. A question aya. Making of the constitution say 30 marks. This is a change. 10, 10, 10, and now 30 marks. Right? Then you have salient features, 30 marks. These are the questions which are asked. So yani ke hame dikh hai ki UPSC ka is part paper one section B mein focus tha to check how much clarity you have with respect to constitutional evolution and debates around constitutional evolution or segments, you can say like judiciary, constitutional amendment, so antecedent amendment, institution, debate, these four points are such that around UPSC ka paper 1 section B, we have a previous trend to see a deviation from the previous trend. Right? Although that is not uh, something, a problem for students, considering that these are the topics which you which you actually cover for your GS part as well. Even though PSIR may focus karte hai, to GS may aapko help mil jati hai, to ye to wo wale topics hai, to aisa, is way se I, I told ki it was not surprising like UPSC used to ask, matlab, ek do question UPSC aise surprise element wale rakhti thi, to is mein to nahi hai. Then you have uh, principal organ study marks earlier 15-15, then grassroots democracy 15, statutory institutions 20 marks question, Right, kahan se election commission se aaya. Federalism 15, 20, 10, 25, right, on the creation of state, basis of creation of state being shifted from earlier time. So, jab bhi hum federalism or specifically creation of state ki baat karte hain, to us debate ko hi hum is basis se start karte hain ki what were the basis of demand earlier and what, how we have evolved as of now. Or fir hum discuss hi karte hain ki iske fayde kya hain, nuksaan kya hain, what scholars are saying, that is what we cover. Planning economic mein abhi aap se baat ki, means uh, this liberalization has not given that much fruits to when it comes to social development indicators. You can say, caste religion say, a question direct, party system say, a question direct, right? 
तो सोशल मूवमेंट से जीरो क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज द ट्रेंड ऑफ योर पेपर वन सेक पेपर वन राइट सो स्टे ट्यून फॉर अ क्विक एनालिस ऑफ पेपर टू एंड देर आफ्टर वी आर गोइंग टू हैव answer writing of these questions as well if you have specific you know uh, you know demand you just share in the comment ki sir is wale question ka answer writing video aapko detail chahiye we are going to focus on that as well because i am going to take some questions in detailed manner it would require around 15 to 20 minutes discussion talking about introduction body and conclusion and it is going to be uploaded on educame youtube channel so see you soon till then keep learning keep growing all the best